Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server. And in this episode, we are going to be looking at some nether portals just to start off with. Um, now this nether portal has been in this area when this used to be a desert um, for pretty much the since the start of the server basically. Um, so yeah, this has always been a bit of a landmark here. Um, it used to obviously be a full nether portal, and then I reduced it down to just this one slither. Um, but myself and the other Back to Beta members have agreed that we want to encourage the building of more infrastructure on the server. So pathways and rail stations and things like that. So in order to do that, we want to get rid of the nether portals. And when I say get rid of them, I don't mean get rid of them permanently. We're going to keep them all, you know, still around. But, um, yeah, we're just going to block them off so that, you know, access to the nether is um, limited, if not nothing. So, uh, yeah. However, in the case of my portal, I will be removing it. Um, now, obviously, it's quite convenient having it right here so I can access my storage system and that. But it does block the view of this and uh, anybody coming through just kind of lands in and, uh, and is in the middle of everything, it kind of feels like. So my plan is actually to move this nether portal back over here. But before I do, um, I've got some screenshots to show you guys, some before and after screenshots um, that I'll show up on screen now um, that you know, showcase the portal, you know, sort of from a year ago, basically, until now. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff to see. Um, I really like having these before and after shots. They're, yeah, kind of cool to be able to show. Um, but, yeah, my plan is to move the portal back into, into that area there, and I think I might have my train station there or possibly over there. Um, but that is for... Um, for later box player to figure out. In the meantime, I think it's time we say goodbye to this glitch nether portal. Now I think that looks much better. Far more immersed in the uh, in the surroundings without that, you know, purple purple portal sort of blocking the way. And it's also going to be a lot quieter over here as well. That portal was a pain. Whenever you walk past it, it would just be really loud. But I think we are going to make another one over here. Same kind of thing. Probably another glitched one because they're a lot of fun to make. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to have to go to the nether and go onto the other side of, uh, of the portal. And uh, make sure no one comes through. Um, otherwise, it'll probably generate one right here again. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that right now. And I guess my closest nether portal is the, uh, is the one here at spawn now. Um, there's not really a pathway to my base right now, so yeah, this is the whole point, to encourage, uh, encourage these kind of pathways to extend to everyone's bases, and, uh, of course, get the, uh, the train station linked up to everyone's base as well. And, uh, there's been talk of even having train stations go to multiple people's uh, well, multiple train stations, sorry, um, on the server as well. So have this one connect to another one, maybe on the other side of spawn. Um, just to just to speed everything up, I think it's a great idea. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that uh, that all to be uh, to be happening. And of course, I forgot my diamond pick. All right, here we go. And broken for the first time in like a year. Pretty crazy. All right. Um. I'm going to just put a sign on it, maybe saying out of order until further notice. Box player. Boom. There we go. Should be impossible to miss that one. There we go. Now, in light of the new nether portal changes, I'm coming to the train station because this project has been going on for months and months and has not been completed or really expanded on in a long time and I want to change that today. I want to start um, actually actually getting this station to a point where I'm happy with. Um, now Captain Cat did this upstairs part which looks alright but I have his permission to, uh, to change it up a bit because personally I think it could be a little bit better. So um, yeah, I've already removed, there were fences all along here, I've already removed that, it's made a huge difference. But I'm actually going to change all of these walls here and possibly even 
um, expand this train station as well, because this back wall is a bit awkward and weird, doesn't really lead anywhere, so I think I might add a whole extra section to the back of this, uh, back of this train station here, so, yeah, anyways, we're gonna start, we're gonna start, you know, at the start, first thing I want to do is kind of remove this maybe, uh, top layer, and remove these walls and change them up a bit, um, and get them to a point that I'm happy with, so let me get started with that, um, I may also, because Captain Cat's pretty inactive right now, I may also adjust his railway, which is here, it goes all the way underground, underneath my base, up and over to his place, I might adjust it so that it actually stops at my place, um, which I actually might intend to do in the future, but I'm going to do that just so it's convenient for me to go backward and forward um, using this railway here. Okay, and a bit of an update. Uh, some progress has been made. The walls have been knocked out, and I've made a start... Oh, I'm missing a block there already. Uh, I've made a start on changing up these sort of, uh, I guess, doorways uh, out of the train station. I added these rungs to sort of be a bit more similar to the front of the of the build and yeah I think it's looking a lot better um, as you can see I've started playing around with a bit of trapdoor action it's clear that these walls on the inside and outside are quite flat um, they need you know trapdoors or something to break them up sort of in this middle section and things like that um, I think that'll come later I think right now it's obviously you know it's obviously a bit flat but I think this is progress it does look a lot better um, I have also knocked out you know this back wall and as you can see I've started an outline uh, it's kind of hard to see Start an outline of what could be sort of behind here. Now, my idea is just to have it basically exactly the same as what this looks like. Um, maybe a little bit wider. I think this still might be a bit thin. I might expand it slightly um, so it's a bit thicker, so there's more space. Um, and yeah, it's basically going to be the same thing, but just uh, twisted you know, 90 degrees, and then, uh, yeah, it'll just give us a whole lot more space to work with, and I think it'll be uh, a lot more impressive to, to sort of enter into, and give it, you know, some sort of purpose to sort of come a bit further back. So, yeah, that's the progress update for now. I get why the, the rails need to be elevated in order to go over the terrain, but, yeah. like, mm -hmm. having the actual entrances high up just makes them annoyingly it's difficult slightly to Slightly less to. accessible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel like having them down here and then having them go upwards would be better. I was actually thinking of, like, a, a system to make, like, almost like an escalator. So you get off one minecart and, like, like right-click into another mm. and it just automatically goes down, you know, oh. or, like, back up. Uh, you know, like, I mean, I feel like that would be interesting I, or funny. It, if it were down to me, uh, I, I think I said this before you guys joined, um, if it were down to me, I would have just, like, one main terminal where you get in and then you select which track you want to yeah. go to, like using redstone. Yeah. But I, I'm not well, sure that would really I feel work like, with the I feel like that's that's kind of what I wanted to it. that's kind of what I wanted to do in that bottom section. When I was mining all that out, that was oh, like yeah. my thought and then someone made it into like one like I, I think I had it as one rail, but I intended to change it and then Kelphone came in and was like, mm. I'm gonna use this. I was like, okay. <laughs> So. Yeah, that is the disadvantage of a community project yeah, that it's isn't right. well planned. So, Boxplay, you you haven't worked out at all what's actually going in this area, apart from like when, right. where did you say you wanted the stairs to go? I mean, okay, so th picture like you walk you've walked straight in from that main section where you're yeah, standing yeah. there. Like, I mean, there could be another portal there, and then like as if you were looking left and right, the stairs were going up and over mm. you. If that makes mm. sense, like they were joining. It, it at could the top be. In front of you. It but could be a central staircase matter. that then branches into two. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. That's cool. I like that idea. And then at this section here, there could be a portal. That's yeah, kind of yeah. like um, a portal and like a stained um, glass behind it. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, I like that idea. Um, okay. This is why we keep you around. That's neat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're an ideas man. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, an ideas man and not a actually doing anything at all. Man. <laughs> not a doing man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do them. To be uh, fair, was was the plan like when you first built it before he did the interior? Was it always the plan for the rails to come yeah. in at the top? It was. It yeah. was. Yeah. The plan, then you. Uh, uh, he you can't really, really blame have him a that problem much with that. that. It just could be done better. Like it's like it's you have to go up so high in such a small space. Yeah, could have been done. Better. Yeah, well, our plan was to have just a giant. I think just a giant staircase or even two staircases in the back wall. Mm. And then you go up, and then there's just a balcony, and it's like not 
impossibly navigable like how this one is is like fucking birch and fences blocking everywhere yeah when he had like, the when he had all the fences in it was impossible to walk around it was crazy mm. i don't know why uh, he had the there, fences in your stuff's in one of the chests i think i was yawning <laughs> Oh, what fucking... is happening? No! <laughs> no! 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 I left off. <laughs> Every time. Was... Minecarts in this are the worst. That was, that was so silly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what was happening. Okay, so welcome back. I've got another update for you guys. As you saw, we had a couple of people come over and actually help uh, with the construction of the back portion here. And it seems like I've logged out for about a day, and it seems like someone's gone and removed the entire uh, middle section of the uh, of the staircase, which I haven't done. Someone else has, uh, has done that, but I think it really opens up the train station a lot, although it does make it pretty inconvenient to get up to these, uh, up to these other... Uh, railways here. I think the plan is, um, I think the plan is to bring these rails, um, sort of, they're, they're above, and then maybe the ter terminals are down here rather than up here, and then these turn into sort of viewing platforms rather than the train stations. But for now, it's obviously a work in progress. Um, but let me show you this back end. As you can see, this has been a ton of spruce wood collection. I've done so much spruce mining. Uh, hello, Griffin. I've done so much spruce mining, uh, in this for this build uh and yeah ryan's helped me as well which was which was good we kept going back to back to my place and and doing that um ryan helped me with this uh with this stair with this dome stair what am i saying uh ryan helped me with this dome i think it looks great he built uh built up the dome it looks really good um and yeah as you can see i have built this uh this wall here which is pretty much the same as the outside except it is a little bit thicker so it does look a little different um just that middle portion there mainly and I did also add sort of these two uh, extra cobblestone things so it is slightly different to the uh, to the other front door but I think this is good it means that you can kind of have um, a back exit um, so obviously you can come in through the front and then this back exit here which leads out to this area which hasn't really been touched all that much Greffin's place is over there Pepper's place is over there but this whole area is a little bit I don't know, there's not much going on, so I feel like we could, uh, could potentially expand out this way, which is, uh, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, I think that back wall there, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with it. I don't think I want it to look exactly like this, maybe something similar, but, um, I just want this to be a blocked off wall. Um, and then over here, I think Deadly is going to build a portal, and we're going to have a staircase kind of going up to this, uh, top portion up here. So, yeah, it's all kind of been happening, and, uh, progress has been made. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's so far looking pretty good. Alright, and just to round off this video, we are back at our desert village, because, not last episode, but the episode before, at the end of the video, I said to anyone who said, banana bread, uh, in the comments, I would put their name on a sign here, so, uh, yeah, I thought I'd better, better actually do that, and, uh, show that off, so... Thank you to everyone who did that, um, who watched the whole video all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Um, so the first person was Lulu22. Oh, does that not fit? It doesn't. Lulu22's house. There we go. Thank you to you. Thank you, Ninja Glurt. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I think that's right. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Doom Shroom. Thank you, Lord Baddock. And thank you, M4Gs. 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 I don't know. But yeah, thank you to all those people who watched to the end of that video and were able to see that message. There's your house. There's your house. There's your house. Your house. Your house, just so you know where it is. And then your house. <laughs> so yeah, you've all got houses in there, and uh, yeah, there's still plenty of houses to uh, to claim, even along this strip, and then obviously all the ones we made in that episode prior to this one, or prior to the last one. Um, so yeah, if you want your name on a house, um, you should comment 
Subscribe to Box Player. That's right. Subscribe to Box Player. That's what you got to comment. It's just mandatory. And uh, yeah, I'll put your name on uh, on one of those houses back there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And also, just a quick thank you to uh, everyone for your support because uh, yeah, we're at episode 50. This is the 50th episode of Back to Beta, and uh, yeah, would not have been possible without the support of everyone in the community. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.